Hey guys, it's Mrs. Mallet, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about common factors, including greatest common factors. The I can statement is, I can determine common factors, including greatest common factors, GCF, of two or more numbers. As a review, I want to remind you that factors are numbers we can multiply together to get another number. For example, two and three are factors of six. That's because two times three equal six. The two numbers that I'm gonna be working with today and finding the common factors for are 12 and 18. So one of the tricks that I use is to write a big F for each of the numbers that I'm finding the factors for. I do that because it helps to remind me that I'm finding factors and not multiples. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. A really long, sort of weird looking F. And I write one for each of the numbers that I'm gonna be listing factors for. One for the 12, one for the 18. Now when I'm listing factors, I start with one and I go through all the way until I get to the number that I'm working with. I don't want to skip any just in case. So if I start with one, I ask myself, well, what number can I multiply with one to get to 12? Well, one times 12 equals 12. I'm going to move right on to two. And I know that two works because 12 is even. Two times what other number equals 12? Six, and I write that right below. Then I'm gonna move on to three. Three is a factor of 12. It multiplies by four to get to 12. Now the next number that, that I would write is four. However, I already have a four down here. When I've come to that point in listing factors, I know that I've written most of the factors down if I've been diligent and have gone through all of the numbers. However, it's not a bad idea to ask yourself all the numbers that you haven't gone through up until this number that you're working with. For example, 5, 6, which is right there, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12 and double check that it doesn't multiply with another number to get to this one. I'm gonna do the same thing with 18. And like I said, I start with one. Well, one times 18 is 18. 18 is even, so I definitely know that two is a factor. Two times another number, which is nine, equals 18. I'm gonna move on to the next number that I have a choice uh, that's coming up, which is three. Three times six equals 18. Then I'm gonna go to four. Well, four doesn't multiply by another number to equal 18. So I'm not gonna write that down. So I'm gonna move to five. Well, five times another number doesn't equal 18 either. So I'm gonna move to six. Well, six is written right here. So just like I did with 12, I know that I've probably written all of my factors, but I'm gonna double check and ask myself and go through all of the numbers until I get up to 18, just to double check. So I would ask myself about seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. I want to be sure that I've listed all of the factors. So now that I have the factors listed, I want to look for common factors. Common means they have something uh, in common or something that is the same. So I see a one over here and a one over here. I see a two listed over here and I see a two over here. I see a three over here and a three over here. I see a four here, but I don't see one over here. 
so that a 4 is not a common factor between 12 and 18. I see a 6 over here, and I see a 6 over here, and I see a 12 over here, but I don't see a 12 over here. I don't want to forget about these other numbers just in case. So I see a 9 listed over on this side, but not one over on this side, and an 18 over here, and not one over there. So as of right now, I see four common factors between 12 and 18. One, two, three, and six. I want to know or determine what the greatest common factor is. That simply means which is the largest factor that they have in common, and that is the six. I hope that's clarified some concerns you might have when you're trying to determine common factors and greatest common factors when you're working on your math homework or any problems that you encounter or any anything that you see in math class. If you have any questions, let me know or ask your teacher. Thanks.